So, it seems that OpenAI are in some pretty big trouble after some recent news was stated by a celebrity. If you haven't heard already, the GPT-4.0 release has led to some key details being unveiled that don't put OpenAI in the best light at all. So recently, as you all know, there was the GPT-4.0 release, and in that release, there were several examples of OpenAI's voice multimodal system being able to do a wide range of complex tasks. And one of the key things that was setting OpenAI's GPT-4.0 apart was the fact that this model was able to speak in a way which is just remarkably human. Now, because of this, it's led people to believe that this voice that they've chosen sounds similar to someone. And I think it's been something that has been on the minds of people ever since they've heard the voice. So what you're about to hear is the OpenAI demo in which the voice model Sky is speaking. And then I'm going to play to you another AI system from a movie and you can see if there are any similarities. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? So that's opening eyes, and this is a short clip from the movie Her. Hello, I'm here. Hi. Hi, I'm Samantha. Now, due to the similarities of this, many people thought that this was actually Scarlett Johansson, because if you don't know, the movie Her, this is a movie that is essentially pretty much GPT-40, and coincidentally, the actor behind the movie Her is Scarlett Johansson, and she sounds remarkably similar to GPT-40, which had some people speculating that it was actually Scarlett Johansson's voice. However, OpenAI yesterday came out and said this, and it says how the voices for ChatGPT were chosen. We worked with industry-leading casting and directing professionals to narrow down over 400 submissions before selecting the five voices. And then you can see here that OpenAI also stated this. They stated that we believe that AI voices should not deliberately mimic a celebrity's distinctive voice. Sky's voice is not an imitation of Scarlett Johansson, but belongs to a different professional actress using her own natural speaking voice. To protect their privacy, we cannot share the names of our voice talents. Now, at this moment, when this was released yesterday, a lot of people were just thinking that this is just a reach because there hadn't been any certain statements. But that was until Scarlett Johansson actually came out and made a statement regarding OpenAI and Sam Altman that actually did shock me and pretty much the entire AI community because there was a lot that wasn't actually being said. So Scarlett Johansson actually released this statement. She said that last September, she relieved an offer from Sam Altman who wanted to hire me to voice the current ChatGPT 4.0 system. He told me that he felt that by my voicing the system, I could bridge the gap between tech companies and creatives and help consumers to feel comfortable with the seismic shift concerning humans and AI. He said he felt that my voice would be comforting to people. Remember, this was last September. She says, after much consideration and for personal reasons, I declined the offer. Nine months later, my friends, family, and the general public noted how much the newest named system called Sky sounded like me. And this is where it starts to get pretty bad for OpenAI in terms of PR. When I heard the released demo, I was shocked, angered, and in disbelief that Mr. Altman would pursue a voice that sounded so eerily similar to mine that my closest friends and news outlets could not tell the difference. Mr. Altman even insinuated that the similarity was intentional, tweeting a single word her in reference to the film in which I voiced a chat system, Samantha, who forms an intimate relationship with a human. And that is this clip here, where you see this AI system talking to this dude who is dealing with a pretty bad breakup and manages to fall in love with the system. And that's why a lot of people were stating that this is very similar to what OpenAI just released. And it doesn't help the fact that Sam Altman also tweeted this around the time of the GPT-40 release, because this definitely insinuates that GPT-40's new system is heavily influenced by the movie, which is just pretty crazy. You can see here, two days before the chat GPT-4.0 demo was released, Mr. Altman contacted my agent asking me to reconsider. Before we could connect, the system was out there. As a result of their actions, I was forced to hire legal counsel who wrote two letters to Mr. Altman and OpenAI setting out what they had done and asking them to detail the exact process by which they created the Sky Voice. Consequently, OpenAI reluctantly agreed to take down the Sky Voice. 
And she finishes it by stating here that in a time when we are all grappling with deepfakes and the protection of our own likeness, our own work, our own identities, I believe that these questions that deserve are questions that deserve absolute clarity. I look forward to resolution in the form of transparency and the passage of appropriate legislation to help ensure that individual rights are protected. So now you can see that a bunch of different news outlets are also covering this story because it's pretty shocking that OpenAI would seemingly release a statement where they clearly state that, look, you know, we did make a voice, but it's actually not an imitation of Scarlett Johansson, but belongs to a different professional actress using her own natural speaking voice. And then I think the thing that actually did shock everyone was the fact that Scarlett Johansson actually came out and detailed the fact that, you know, there were several details between them and OpenAI, where OpenAI were just continually requesting for her voice to be used. And then, of course, she declines. And then I definitely think that that is far too much coincidence that OpenAI coincidentally releases a product that sounds eerily similar to her. And whilst yes, the Sky voice has been around for quite some time, it definitely does sound like Scarlett Johansson if we're being completely honest. And this is something that many people have noticed. Now, I think you need to truly understand just how big of a story this is because this is currently trending in many different countries and you can see that this tweet has over 4.9 million views of people stating that this is clearly not a good look for OpenAI. Now the reason I state that this is not good for OpenAI is because over the past couple of days there have been a few things that OpenAI have I guess you could say lost trust with the general community and Right now, they're losing public with the broader community because what it seems like on the surface level is that OpenAI wanted to use her voice and then it seems that she said no and it seems that she just did it anyway. Regardless of whatever the truth is, news stories are running with this and this is making headlines and this is bad for everyone involved because if OpenAI are in a situation where they have terrible PR, we already know that with previous systems, there were already several issues related to those releases because of how they were released and you can see here that people are now stating that Sam Altman cannot be trusted no wonder he was fired from OpenAI last November and the story going around the internet right now is just really really bad people are saying that he's a sociopath people are saying that you know he cloned her voice without consent and this is just something that really looks absolutely terrible in OpenAI's and you can see here there are a lot more comments and this isn't just cherry picked this has been all over my feed of OpenAI and Sam Altman getting hate you can see this event reveals all we need to know about OpenAI's ethics some people are stating that Sam Altman is a villain. This is creepy behavior. And I mean, this is just not good because you have a pretty game-changing technology. I mean, GPT-4.0 is very, very insane. But if the people who are in control of this technology and who are behind it and who are distributing it don't do so even with the basic products in a safe way, and if they don't manage to, you know, have at least some kind of ethics that they showcase, it's going to lead to a lot of people putting so much distrust in OpenAI that could lead to a huge number of different situations that we may have never seen before. There's always been some social tension with regards to OpenAI's new product releases, but this is something that takes it to a completely new level because celebrities like Scarlett Johansson are loved by millions and millions of people. And if she's just saying that, look, I didn't want my voice cloned and they cloned it anyway, this is not going to be good in the age where artificial intelligence is being in some instances peddled as this thing that is going to completely remove your meaning and your career. So I think right now OpenAI does need to do some damage control, but I'm not sure how they get out of this situation really when they did a tweet that says her that is a reference to the movie in which Scarlett Johansson also played at the demo of the 4.0 release. Now this is the last update before I end the video, but apparently Sam Altman has issued a statement stating that Sky is not Scarlett Johansson and it was never intended to resemble hers. We cast a voice actor but behind Sky's voice before any outreach to Miss Johansson. Out of respect for Miss Johansson, we have paused using Sky's voice in our product. We are sorry to Miss Johansson that we didn't communicate better. And this is one of the tweets that I agree with so much is that if this goes full on news, this type of decision can thoroughly reshape air regulation. Celebrities do have a lot of influence over the general population, whether or not you like to believe that. And with stuff like this that puts AI in a negative light, I think that this could definitely shape how future rules and regulations are done in the future because if we get to a point where voice cloning does become a real issue there's definitely going to become some kind of legislation where you're going to need some kind of permission the websites and systems that you use to do the voice cloning are going to also going to have to have some kind of regulation because you're probably going to need 
forms and forms of permission, unlike now where you can literally just take someone's voice and clone it immediately on a website like Eleven Labs. So I do think that in the next couple of years, the law is going to have to be updated rapidly to adapt with all of these quick changes that are happening in this fast moving field.